so in the last section we have dealt with active site prediction how to predict the active site of a particular uh, protein ligand complex okay so today in this section we are going to perform a molecular docking with a protein and a ligand so let's see how we can perform a molecular docking so in the initial stage we have to select a particular protein from the pdb database so we can go to this rcsb pdb database and i am going to select the protein called human cox2 as you are aware about this cox2 so cox2 uh, is responsible for inflammation during fever condition and uh, there are many structures available in the pdb database so i'm going to select this particular structure called 3ln1 okay so this particular structure is the structure of silicoxib bound at the cox2 active site so there is already a particular ligand present in the active site of cox2 i'm going to download this structure by using this legacy pdb format so the structure is being downloaded here now i am going to download a particular ligand from the database called pubchem so the structure i'm going to download is paracetamol as you are aware about the paracetamol or you know aspirin so this is the first one we can go with that acetaminophen or paracetamol so we can click this structure here we can download this particular 3d structure here so you can go with the download option here and we can download this STS structure here. Okay, the structure is being downloaded. So before going with the actual docking, I have kept all the files in the folder called COX2. So we have the protein structure here and the ligand structure here and the active site amino acids that are already identified. Okay, so I'm going to open a software called Maestro that comes in Schrodinger platform. So initially I have to change the working directory. So I have already selected the COX2 folder here as my present working directory. Then we can import the structure. We can import the protein structure here. Okay, so I'm going to import the structure here. So this is our uh, basically protein structure. So now we are going to select only one chain of our protein and we have to delete some of the uh, ligands present and the water molecules present in the protein so initially we can do one thing so we can click this protein structure here and we can see there are four chains so we can select this one as you can see it is selected here and we can select this one too we can select this one also and then we can delete the atoms here so the atoms are being deleted and the remaining ones are some of the ligand heme group and water molecule Either we can delete in a different way. So we can select like this and we can click delete option. So that is one way and we can select like this and we can go to right click and delete bones. So it will delete bones basically but delete, delete the atoms. So we have to delete it or if that doesn't work initially. So we can do one thing. So we can click like this and we can delete the atoms. So it's deleted and here also we have some of the atoms here so it's been deleted okay now okay one more atom one more uh, ligand is here i'm going to delete the atoms here now we have a chain and in the a chain we have the amino acids here and one ligand is there actually okay, as you can see uh, the ligand is there but i'm unable to see the ligand we can change the color of that ligand and let's see whether we can yeah exactly so here the ligand is the yeah exactly it's the same ligand so what we can do we can select this one and we can directly delete that okay now our protein is free of ligands and water molecules okay now we have to go with protein preparation stage so i'm going to select this protein preparation stage here so nothing to worry we can go with the default option here either we can go with the interactive way or maybe without that interactive way so i'm going with the interactive way so it will automatically uh, pre-process optimize and minimize with uh, deleting the water molecules so we don't need to uh, go 
beyond the default level so there are many uh, selection possible here so as you can see there are many options ph options available and we can optimize uh, considering all ligand states ample water orientation and minimization maybe we can select with this particular force field opls 2005 okay we can select this uh, force field and here we already selected to uh, select to delete water molecules so anywhere there are no uh, heteroatoms or water molecules there is no point of selecting this one but anyway we can sell this option so if there are some selenomethions amino acids so it will be converted to methionine so we can select that one also okay and we can go with the run option so we'll go with the continue anyway so it will take some time for protein preparation so the protein preparation stage is running as you can see here in the dot option here jobs section so it's been running here let's wait for some time we will get the result soon so meanwhile we can do one thing we can import our uh, ligand structure here so this is the ligand structure here we can import that so we can go with the lick prep lick prep option here so we can go this task option and we can select the lick prep so that module is used to prepare our ligand molecule the same uh, fossil we are going to take this one and the file so you can see the project table and in the workspace we have only select the uh, ligand protein sorry ligand molecule so i'm going to select that one and so we don't need to go with 32 uh, you know 32 conformers or molecular conformations we are going to select only two and nothing to change so i'm going to run this one also so simultaneously this protein preparation and lick prep are running together let's wait for the result okay currently so we have obtained the prepared protein molecule as well as the uh, prepared ligand molecule here as you can see from the normal protein molecules so the protein that has been prepared and the ligand conformation is changed as you can see from here now now we have to select our protein molecule here and we have to make a grid in order to go for the molecular docking so uh, let's see what we can do here so grid preparation resected so grid generation this is an option here and we have to select the amino acid from this option specify residues and we have to go with this option select either we can give the number here like 1 2 3 or 5 to 10 like that i already have the amino acid identified the number so i can select this and paste here and i can add here so it's these amino acids are being added here and click ok now again we have to select this and click ctrl a and it will be selected every each and every amino acids and we can go with the ok option and you can see the grid box has been generated around the amino acids that we are selected and maybe we can uh, increase or decrease the amino acid uh, receptor region so i am selecting with the the default one i'm going with the 20 armstrong only and we can go with this particular option run so the grid box generation will be uh, finished soon so meanwhile you can close all these panels here you can close this one you can close this one also and you can close this one okay now the receptor generation was done now we can go with the actual docking method so in the task we can select or search for ligand docking okay ligand docking glide is the platform and in this we have to select some of the files that we already generated so the first one is the receptor grid and this we have to select from the file so this is the protein structure the receptor 
uh, grid generated protein structure so that we will have this particular pro, uh, uh, folder and we have to select this zip folder okay now now we can select the ligand by choosing this particular ligand here and i can select either from the project table or the workspace so this is the project table here and the dot one corresponds to workspace so both of them are uh, selected for our ligand so i am going to select any of them so this one i am selecting and in the settings we can go with the standard precision model or maybe we can go with the xp precision if you want to get a more precision method but it will take some more time so i'm going to uh, select this one only and yeah that's it we can go with the docking run that's it it will take some time for performing the mobile docking let's see what we'll get all right the process being done the docking is performed and we got the protein ligand complex here as you can see and to visualize in a better way we can go with this particular option here apply default custom preset and sorry i didn't select this one maybe now we can go with the preset option here yes exactly now we can see the ligand is being docked with our protein molecule and in order to see this you know interaction between this ligand and the protein molecule you can select this option here yeah exactly so this will show the ligand interaction here so if you want to know the 2d structure here you can go with this ligand interaction option here and to know what are the interaction available you can select this lid legend option here as you can see we have two hydrogen bond interaction here okay and now if you want to measure the length of this particular interaction you can have this option here so you have to select the uh, atoms that are being bound to this particular interaction see you can select these two atoms and it will show the uh, bond length between this atom and maybe i can select another one also so this one and this one so that gives the bond length okay that's it now if you want to know the result of the molecular docking that we have done you can go with this option here and you can select the glide docking score which will be somewhere here okay yeah exactly so the docking score of this particular ligand is minus 6.638 so this we have to remember the docking score or maybe the glide score also both will be almost same so this is one of the method to perform molecular docking so in the upcoming class we can discuss in a multiple uh, method how we can perform molecular docking and molecular simulation i hope all of you understand about molecular docking if you have any doubt comment in the session we can discuss further thank you